Assalamu alaikum and hi guys, this is Fatima from First Body Physical Sciences and we continue our series on how to use your Casio scientific calculator for physical sciences. We're using the FX991ZA plus or plus two, the white or the silver one, as these are the common ones used in South Africa and the ones easily available to us. So remember in the series we will not be focusing on the actual physical sciences but rather the skills needed to use your calculator. So I'm using a question from the isotopes grade 10 where we are given the relative atomic mass and we need to calculate percentage abundance. So in this case we are letting chlorine 35 be x and chlorine 37 will then be 100 minus x and I've set up the equation as shown. So I'm not going to be focusing on how the equation was set up, but I'm going to be focusing on the calculator skill. Remember, if you want actual physical sciences videos, then you go to our Instagram page at FizzBuddy and you will get details on how to register for our actual physical sciences course. But for now, calculator skills, and this is suitable for grade 10, 11, and 12, because very often we would use an equation like this and try to solve for x. So the first step is we need to plug in 35.5. Now I've got an equal to sign here and this is an equal to sign in an equation. When this happens we do not press the equal to sign at the bottom of the calculator. Do not. But rather we go to the top at the alpha, we click alpha and we press calc. If you look at calc at the top there's an equal to sign. By pressing alpha calc you're actually getting alpha equals. And that is the equal to sign that we need to use. We now have a fraction, so I go to the fraction button. I open my bracket and I want x. So I'm pressing alpha x. And that is the x that we use. Multiply by 35, close bracket. Plus, open bracket, 100 minus alpha x. Now you can see I've made an error, I pressed alpha equals, so I'm going to go to the delete and I'm going to say alpha x and I'm going to close the bracket. Open a bracket, 37, close bracket. Always watch your screen at the top of your calculator to see that you are entering the numbers correctly. Now I need to go to the bottom to divide by 100, so to do that I go to the set of arrows and click the bottom arrow and that takes me to the denominator where I put 100. Now I want the calculator to solve this equation for me. I want the calculator to do the maths and to find x. So now we're going to press shift solve and the normal equal to button. So follow along with me. So at the top shift solve. It says 75, but that is not the final answer. That's my calculator's answer from the previous time I used my calculator. Once you press shift solve, you now go to the bottom of your calculator and press equals. And there we go, we have 75. And our final answer here is 75%. And that is how you would use your calculator, your scientific calculator, to solve. So here on the screen, I've, in blue, I've got a blue box here for you saying shift solve equals is your last step. And this particular equals is the equal to at the bottom. But in the actual calculation, the equal to 35.5 equals, that would be the alpha equals. This does take a few tries, but once you get it, it becomes second nature and then you will be acing all your questions in physical sciences. So these are the calculators that we've used. Highly recommend you get one of them and follow us at FizzBuddy on Instagram for tips and tricks for grade 10, 11 and 12 physical sciences. We'll be back with more scientific calculator tips, so keep following.